On the afternoon of July 2nd, Little Round Top was unoccupied for a while. Through a chain of events set in motion by Governor Kemble Warren, Union Colonel Strong Vincent would ultimately bring his brigade of 1,300 men to the hill. Strong Vincent will end up posting his leftmost regiment, the 20th Maine, here on what is now known as Vincent's Spur. This, at this time, would be the left flank of the Union Army of the Potomac on Little Round Top. Um, they were not here very long. They didn't have time to build the stone walls that are seen around me today. Uh, but the, they just got into position when the Southerners come off a of big round top, weary after their very long march, wearier than any other Southerners on the field, come and attack this position. And the Texans and Alabamians are repulsed. They attack this position again, and they're repulsed again. They make a tough attempt to try to capture a little round top for the other side, um, but fail, barely, because of some Union reinforcements from the 140th New York. The 20th Maine then becomes uh, the subject of an intense fight with two Alabama regiments, the 15th Alabama, the 47th Alabama, and for more than 30 to 45 minutes this fight goes back and forth like a great wave until a third of the men from Maine are down, a third of the men from Alabama are down. Both sides are trying to use up ammunition from their dead and wounded comrades, and the Southerners are now beginning a movement around the flank around this monument to attack the 20th Maine, not from this direction, but from this direction as well. The Maine men see that coming. They bend back their line beyond the monument in this fashion in order to repulse the Southern attacks, which come again with equal ferocity. They will fail as well. The Southerners make one last attempt. It will fail. The Union then is out of ammunition, and that is when uh, the 20th Maine will fix bayonets onto the end of their rifles and charge down into the weary Southerners, who, after staying up all night and marching over mountains and, and up Big Round Top and down and making a various ferocious attack, had finally had enough. Hundreds of the Southerners were captured. The Union troops, some of them came off of Little Round Top, occupied Big Round Top in front of me, and were said to be going all the way on to Richmond, but they would slow down.